Right, hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to go over my uh, recent FPV setup that I bought. Um, the main features of it is the Emergent RC 600 milliwatt uh, VTX. Then I've got the uh, you know 5800 V2 um, Emergent RC receiver or video receiver, and the Quantum DIY FPV goggles from Hobby King. Uh, this unit is quite untidy. Um, all my cables were relatively short, so um, I just mounted everything on the top. Um, it is quite heavy, but I compensated that and got a headlight strap. So it has three straps, one across the head, and then the one around the back. Two straps, sorry. But um, So the weight is pulled down the top of my head, not down my nose. So um, that helps with the weight um, and works a great job. Um, so from the uh, VTX I have got the Mobius cable, I just done that up to match the uh, the transmitter here. So with the cable you've got on the VTX, just pull this out of here. So on the VTX um, you've got the video here, then ground and then the 5 volt out. And I actually power my Mobius with the 5 volts, I don't turn it on. So then with the Mobius cable that you would get when you buy the Mobius, or you might have to buy it separately if, you're, if you don't get it free, but uh, it just came with other wires and these connectors came with two or three. So um, I just matched this up, matched this up here. So um, for say the yellow was the video, uh, black was ground and red was five volt out. So I just pulled those out of the little connector and put them back in in the right order and folded back the audio and other ground and uh, auxiliary ground there as well just put them back, wrap them with tape so now that's a simple cable for the Mobius so just straight in, 5 volts out on the outside plug it into the VTX like that you don't need the special connectors for it either that in there, then the simple uh, little micro USB just pop it into the back of the Mobius and the JST for the power I'm just running that to a 850 milliwatt 3 cell. Um, so that just sits on the back here. And I power that through there. Um, on here I've got a 1500 milliwatt milliamp 3 cell. That's powering the, the goggles and the video receiver. So we'll power it up and I'll just show you a little example of it. So just plug in my uh, XT60s here. And that's it, fine channels. <clears throat> now onto the Mobius and the, the VTX. Just plug it straight into the JST. Make sure when you're plugging in uh, your VTX, always have a connector on it, um, or an antenna even, because if you have no antenna on it, it'll just uh, burn it out. So just plug that in there. And as you can see, Mobius powers up straight away. Probably can't see the light. And there it is turned on now. So just pop the lens cap off and pick this up. And as you see, we've got video here, so I'll just get a better camera view of that. So and there's the screen, we'll just lift the quadcopter up. And there it is. There's the DX9, that's what I fly with. And the uh, video signal is very good. I'm using the circular polarized antennas from version RC as well. As you can see there on the, uh, on the receiver, and I've got the same one on the transmitters you've probably seen. So um, the video signal is very good with uh, those antennas. Um, it's quite expensive but it all works. It all like pays off. Another little add-on here, I've just got a little cover for if it ever came on raining or when I'm out in the late evening and there's dew. So I just got plastic from a, a box of something, made a cube out of it with hot glue and then wrapped it in duct tape, cut a few air holes and uh, it just pops on and the wires come out the side there. So that just helps with June, it's very light as well. So um yeah that's my FPV setup. Uh, uh, so that's it for that video. And um, the next video will be something else. So uh, see you then.